Hello everyone, it's Lisa and I'm back this week and I'm here to review with you uh, how to prepare your final project that you're working on now for the board design, that's project three, and how to get ready, uh, get your work ready for your final portfolio in this class. We're pretty much finishing up and these are the last two activities in addition to your vocabulary quiz that you're responsible for for this class. You can hear. Okay, so here's your final um, board design pro progress report. And just like the first project in here, the digital map painting, you're pretty much submitting the same exact materials. Um, definitely need to submit to me a uh, layered Photoshop document, which most of you have um, set it up properly based on your peer critique from last week. I pretty much have uh, graded all those and left comments. So based on those comments um, from, your, from me, I'm your instructor, and the comments from your peers in the discussion, you should be revising those final board designs to turn in for Sunday. And for the most part, everybody had it set up properly. Those of you who did not set up your board design files properly, you need to go back and look at the video. Uh, I think it is week, let's see, which one would it be? Um, week 10 uh, for how to set up the board design files properly. Okay, so in addition to your layered Photoshop file, you're also submitting your... Uh, process report and that will include and I have an example here to sort of go over that with you so I'm going to pop into Word here and I'm using one of the students from the class um, who prepared a report so this is all her process work she has her written um, section where she answered those questions that were part of that assignment where you had to do some market research and you had to kind of come up with a target market and there was some groundwork in terms of research that you had to do in the beginning of the project and then um, you also had to put together some sketch work and uh, start to begin to locate some imagery and such that you'll be using in your uh, board designs. Notice here the sketch work is in here as well as this a particular student also indicated all of the um, links to where she located all the imagery. Um, if you're using other people's work or other people's photography, artwork, words, or what have you, you need to make a citation inside your process document citing that source. So this student has done that. Um, also the sketch work is in here. And then in addition to that, over here, I've placed in the um, a JPEG of the file that was submitted in the peer critique so that um, I could open up your process report and then open up your final and look and compare to see if you've made modifications to your final document um, that you turn in. So make sure that you prepare your process document properly. Make sure that you include all of those things. Again, your write-up, your market research write-up, uh, your bibliography, citing your sources, your sketch work, and then your um, progressive JPEG of your project in the, per, in the peer critique. So that will entail everything that you need to turn in for uh, the, final pro the final project three. Okay, and that's worth 100 points. And I am going to go ahead and grade those and give you feedback back to you um, in this grade. And then that will be used on your final portfolio. So that's what I'm about to review next. I have a, a handout in here that I have um, placed to explain how I'd like for you to prepare your final portfolio. 